Find a Funny Studios is brought to you by Deus Ex Mankind Divided, now available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. This new, critically acclaimed entry into the Deus Ex universe once again has players taking on the role of Adam Jensen with an all-new arsenal of state-of-the-art weapons and augmentation. See what all the excitement is about at DeusX.com. Tim, what's your topic? That is an excellent story. I think that's your number one story. Thank you very Tag much. Ninjas. My topic uh, is is kind of similar. If you want to, oh good, what drink are you making? That way, no, 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 similar to to the story you just told. So me and Colin and Kevin were walking. Where were we going? Getting some ramen? Yes, we we're probably getting some sweet nasty ramen. A couple days ago, we we're walking, and then we see these these tiny little girls, like five year olds, probably right. Yeah, family of. I don't know, a hundred. There was so many of them. Like, I don't know why there was so many of them. It sounded like there was even more than there was, but there, there was a lot, probably six, six of them, right? right? Right. They're all running around. And of course, the first thought we all have is how many could we fight? Mm. If these little shits decided to attack us right now, yeah. Mm hmm. How many could we hold off? How, and we had a, an interesting conversation. We're talking five year olds, five year olds. So, so a little taller so, than that. You know, like, Oh shit! Five. Oh, but right. from the floor? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Five. Yeah, yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, about that. Okay. 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 So my question is, one on one, how many of those little shits could we take on and survive and get out of? One, one, but and also I, as a group, if it was all all of us plus Kevin, <laughs> we're there getting attacked by these little the swarm this, of hellions. This reminds me of my most the most popular topic on the game of Gregor show. Oh, you mean our 200,000 view episode the game of Gregor show? Right. Um which Really? We, no. I don't know. How many <laughs> no. had one of those? <laughs> no, no, that doesn't Wait, sound I don't right. Think that yeah, I think it did. This is this reminds me of my feral cat yeah. topic. Would you mm -hmm. want a medium-sized mountain lion or what was it, 100 feral cats, 500 yeah, feral cats? No, just a sea of feral cats. Okay. It's like you can't see the ground. Um so you said one on one, but you, what you meant was one on X. Like yeah. right, we're deciding right. what X But you're is. what do you mean? What are you trying to say is solo? Solo. Solo, I feel like you can take at least 15 of these little fuckers. 15. On. 15 100%. of them, right? Because the first one's going to come at you. He's going to come at you hard. You got to make an example out of him. Do they know what's happening? They've been instructed they have to kill me, or am I just going into however many are there? I mean, you, you really went farther with the kill, but like. Oh, we're not trying. No, I don't. When I fight, I'm not there to knock you out. I'm there to paralyze you or end your life. Damn, you're gonna, you are going to snap that deer's 100%. neck. 100%. It would you're not just going to It would be it. that. That's how I go down. It's like the scene, the infamous scene in Batman v Superman where he breaks that's the guy's neck and everybody gets up. They get some and they beat him, and then one five year old walks in with heat vision and cuts me in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, mean, I thought you were going to imagine. That. What I was thinking was you take one of them, like right off the bat, and you yeah. do that. Remember the last guy he punches in that cool scene at the very end of Batman v Superman? Yeah. Where he basically punches his, his head, head through, through the, the ground. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would do to the first fucker that came out to me. Oh, no way. Little shit. See, because we right. talked about. We talked about the first movie we doing grabbing one of them and trying to swing the, him yeah, at swing the other yes, one. Sure. Exactly. Like, the, to me, it's all about two things vigor. And dexterity. Mm -hmm. As long as you can keep them at bay, and you have the dexterity to kind of move around and like kind of circle around, and you could probably go for a while. You could probably go for minutes and minutes at a time. You could probably do you know go go through dozens of enemy five year olds at that point. But the second I feel like one latches on you or a That's couple get you, mm -hmm. then you're gonna start like it's like like I said, it's like Kramer in the in the the karate the, the studio dojo, or whatever yes. in the dojo mm -hmm. in Seinfeld. I feel like. You, you got to keep them at bay. What I was saying, what an interesting move would be is the, the Zangief spinning mm -hmm. arm move, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they're too short yeah. is what I thought. Yeah. Mm. But could you also not just kick one in the sternum and just send them flying back into Give another one? Yeah. This, you, in other words, you need to buy yourself a few seconds every now and then to yeah. breathe. No, yeah, this, is definitely, this is definitely like the feral cat argument where I think my first move, well, my first move, if I get to just go, I'm power bombing one just for the hell of it to start the whole thing. Like we just walk in, I'm like, oh, I'm like what? Oh, I'm screaming power bomb! Ah! Yeah, I'm just fucking taking this guy. But then it's yeah, I'm just sprinting through them for a little bit. You just run into yeah, them. yeah. I feel like Letting that's a bad idea. Though, I know they might get me, but I still no, but like I feel like you're also losing your energy. your energy doing that. You have to, to but I mean they're your energy. they're losing something it's too. It's horde mode. No, they're not. Now, Colin, they're five years old, Greg. To 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 sort of evolve your concept. What if you picked one of them up by the feet and then swung him around? 
Yeah, that, in, that, that, in that helicopter. That's what we were. No, that's, we, the that's what we were talking that's about. The okay, what that's I'm the plan. afraid okay. of. Well, that was the first, the first one we had talked about. And I went, okay. oh, that's good, but what I'm afraid of is that, that also might use a lot of energy. It's going to. I mean, that's like using a full super meter in Street Fighter Four. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just like you're already out of that. Now you got to get to work up and gain that the momentum back. But that's not how real life works. And then you're going to think it's going to work out. Yeah, well you're going to find yourself in some hand to hand combat. Too. You're going to have to take some punches. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going to have to you know just knock some you know you do uppercuts. Is there like, uppercuts are going to be tough? But you got to get really low. Like think about how low Ken gets when he goes, you know. Sure, but I feel like you're getting low. That's when they, when they latch. They jump on your back yeah. and they do that thing where they See, got See, that's the difference though between the little children and the feral cats is the cats are animals, right? Yeah, they'll get yeah. up there. The children, they're, they have minds. They can right. think. They right. know it hurts when you get hit in the balls. He's so they're tough. going straight for right. the balls. That's a great point they're too. also right there. Here's the thing. I th- I'm thinking about little kids as a general idea. When you're with them, they always seem to fall in the weirdest ways and to just not that make idiots. any sense when it comes to gravity or they have weird ragdoll physics. They do. They do. So there's been a lot of times I've been with, I guess not five year olds. It's usually younger than five, but where they will be jumping around, they always fall and it always hits me in the dick. Mm. They're not trying to, mm. but they just always, they? they always end up there. Okay. So I'm worried that if they're trying to get there, uh, even a little kid punched to the dick, it's going to really hurt. You know, the cats, I mean, they don't, they don't know to go there. The yeah. kids know to go there. Yeah. And all they need is that one little hand. So how many do you think you can get through? I don't know. I mean, I could definitely take one. Yeah, of course. I mean, let's work backwards, right? I could do one. Yeah. I could do two. Easy. Three. Yeah. Four. <laughs> Questionable. Five. I don't know. Five might be the number that I... See, I, mean, I think you know the killer instinct. That's five. the whole thing where you're like, I, you know, I jumped to killing and you're like, oh, I, well, I didn't think of that. I mean, like, you got to have that in you because if you're going to go in there and you're going to like, uh, like, like try to give them... Give, I'm like, I'm going in there and I'm going just... I'm just fucking taking these people. Well, that's, I'm grabbing them by the head. I'm like, is your head still soft? And they're like, I don't know. And I'm like, oh. yeah, that's, that's what I'm, I'm trying, trying to like scare the other ones that's, too. That's, don't, a, that's a good point. I mean, that's what I'm trying to say is that with the feral cats, like they're animals, they don't really have self awareness. So like that, you you can't really scare them by doing something to another cat, right? Yeah, totally. But should the first child come at you and you literally rip its head off like a fucking top? <laughs> do the others? <laughs> do the others get yeah. scared? And then they're running and they're like, I'm assuming we're in some room and they're calling at the walls. And I just, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream with that like voice I do. You know what I mean? Where I'm just like, <laughs> you don't get it. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. And I'll do that laugh that you guys think scary. And there'll be a, there'll be a few of these fuckers that think they're like Big Dick Dudley, and they're gonna they're gonna stop me. But I'm gonna yeah. go right for them next. Yeah. And that's the whole thing, just fucking picking them up. Well, nah. right, and like the right. walls, the kids are scraping at. I'm I got a lot of questions. The kids Greg. up above them, and they fall down. I got questions. Yeah. Do you think that you could rip? A kid's head off. No, I think I could break their neck pretty easy though. You really? Yeah. <laughs> See, I feel like I would panic. My thing is this. You got the first one comes in, he's getting that fucking like that right hook, right? right. Come in with the right hook. He's done. Next he's one's down. coming this way, I right. assume. Right. They're not coming they're, they're yeah, in front they're of gonna us. Come right? from all around you. I'm going this that way with that one. And then probably at that point though, another one's grabbing my leg. Right? So this is where we start getting into trouble. Because I'm gonna have to start hitting him in the top of the fucking head. <laughs> Right, but then while I'm doing that, if, if it doesn't get off in the first hit, the next one's grab my leg, and then I'm going down. So I'm saying like, no, no, I'm gonna two, revise. Two kids aren't gonna take you down. On two the kids legs. could because they lock the leg, they lock on like this with their feet as well, Fuck, and then you can't, right. you can't move, and then another one just comes and runs at you, <laughs> and you just fall down. Just straight fucking like drop kicks. Then, you're, then you're into Gulliver's in Travel territory where they're just starting to throw ropes over you. My and, like, favorite hey, Bible story. Yeah. <laughs> That, I mean, that's the thing though, is like, I think you're, you're getting, you're, you, this is where we have the advantage where we can instill fear in these children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We, they're not terminators. They feel pain, right? Like the cats, the cats, we are, it's hit or miss if they're going to run when we attack them. Right. But yeah, these kids grab you on the legs. That's like usually a cute kid move. You know what I mean? Right. And rather than punch down, what you got to do is just go up here and just, and like when you, Fucking crack a fucking five year old like that. That's like a skull fracture and an oh, orbital he's bone. And he's at least gonna dead. he's gonna forget like his alphabet or something. <laughs> like he just knocked out all the A through like M. <laughs> he's just got else. So like do your ABCs and he's, he's like, like uh, and he means you mean the NOPs. <laughs> 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 oh Christ! Oh my God! So okay, <laughs> the concept of ABC slam. Since we're we're smart, right? We can outsmart these people. Do you think that we can, instead of fighting, use our our wit and uh, how clever we are? Well, I didn't know that was an option. I don't know. I wouldn't Do you have think been... that we can just like it, like just make fun of their their mothers and the, just make them cry? Well, the whole problem is what I don't understand. What they understand at this point? Do they know that fifteen enter only? 
one leaves? I guess 15 of them could leave theoretically. Like, do they know they have to take me out? Or is it that I'm just walking into a Chuck E. Cheese? I walk in, look around, turn around, chunk, lock the door. <laughs> and I got the Batman cowl on. <laughs> when kid's just still eating a piece of pizza. It falls out of his mouth. He's like, oh, fuck. It's on. <laughs> It's on. Big boy, bring the pain. Dude, definitely not that. In no scenario are you just going in unprovoked. <laughs> I'm trying to see. The question isn't how many kids do you think you can take out? <laughs> so they know. They know it's life and death. Yeah. Oh, that, that's an interesting one. That is That does change things to an, an extent, right? Because I don't know if we could scare them as easily. They understand. If they understand, do five year olds understand the concept of death and like that. When they, I don't think so. This guy's going to kill you or you kill him. Can we explain that? To where you? does it, where, the other thing that's important to me is where is the arena? Like, is it on a street? Like, like, can I pick up weapons? Are there, can they pick up weapons? Are there things around us? Like, I think it's an octagon. It's an, so it's an octagon. octagon. Oh. And so it's, and okay. there's nothing, there's nothing to be done no. except to fight. And there's a limited amount fists. of space. You can't really, so you have to be very strategic with how you like circle around this group of children. That's why I'm saying it could be dangerous because if they get behind you and you can't, you, can, you already can barely see them as you're looking at them straight because they're so low, right? You'll look down. You'll be fine. When they come behind you, one gets on your neck like a fucking koala bear and he just starts choking you, right? It doesn't have the strength. Yeah, they they doesn't have the strength to choke you, jokes. but it's just enough <laughs> to start slowly cutting the air off. Yeah. You can't think, and then you see stars, and then boom! It's I mean, if we're in the you. octagon, then I'm I'm gonna corner myself intentionally. Yeah, to, ah, to, to back protect to like all my you know my angles, and then if I were to get surrounded, I could probably drop a shoulder or do something to run through them or. J- Hurdle over summer or do something. Climb the back of the octagon. Climb yeah, the octagon. Yeah, I, I could do. I mean, I just feel like I feel like you're underselling how many of these kids you can take before you were taken out. And I really feel like it's it comes back again to vigor and dexterity. The second mm-hmm. you run out of vigor or your vigor starts to wane, the second you have you're not dexterous anymore, yeah. then you're. It is all about making that first mistake and being overwhelmed. But I think it's going to take three or four of them to overwhelm you. If you can rectify those mistakes, I feel like you, you're you're under underselling yourself. You know, you're saying like two, three, four. I feel like I think it's easy. I think two, three. Easy. Four, questionable. Five is where it starts getting dicey. But I, I do think I can take five. Because that's the thing is like, yeah, just sheer you size. Take five. Sheer size and sheer just fucking like before they overwhelm you, I think I could take out five. So ten. I don't know. Those little shits will get yeah. all over me. Lock me down. Because again, I will have used all of my energy. Their fingers are going to be everywhere, too. I know. Little spindly Little kid fingers. fingers. And if they don't get you, you're probably going to get sick from them later because they're, they're gross. Point. They're, they're playing gross. the long game. They're oh, playing yeah, the long right. game. Yeah. You like, you know, the, the, the win condition is 20. You, you win. The, the octagon is littered with bodies. And you think you get out and you go and celebrate. And then two days later, you feel a little scratch in your throat. And you're like, mm, God damn it. They got me. They got me. The long con. The long con, they called it. Mm-hmm.